Welcome to the Telabs Optical and Training video, Architecture. This video is designed to help prepare Telabs partner sales teams to be able to reference and position an optical and solution to their customers. Specifically, this module will deal with the network architecture options that are supported by the Telabs Optical and Solution. In this video, you will learn an overview of the differences between optical LAN and traditional LAN architecture, the different ONT deployment options, and the fiber optic deployment options supported by Telebs Optical LAN. In a traditional active Ethernet LAN, a router in the core layer links to the campus or building aggregation switches or distribution layer. The distribution switches connect down to the access layer switches in the IDF closets. Copper cables extend from the IDF to the network clients and end devices. In a passive optical LAN solution, the router is retained in the topmost layer and the optical line terminal serves the same purpose as the campus aggregation switches. The building aggregation switching is accomplished by the optical splitter, which is a passive device, so there are no power requirements and little management while being highly reliable. The optical network terminal provides connectivity to the users and end devices. The ONT is the key to the benefits of passive optical LAN. The ONT can be placed practically anywhere with few restrictions. Common deployment options include MDF IDF, zone boxes and ceiling and floor areas, desktop, and in wall. In an MDF IDF deployment, the ONT is rack mounted much like workgroup switches. This is the ONT of choice when existing copper cable is reused from a workgroup switch installation or many Ethernet ports are needed in a dense area. This ONT can be used for wireless access point aggregation, surveillance device aggregation, as well as conference rooms and classrooms where large numbers of ports are needed in a small area. There are two ONTs that can be rack mounted in the MDF or IDF. The ONT248 is an XGS PON ONT that supports 48 UNI ports. The ONT729GP is a GPON ONT that supports 24 UNI ports. Both will support PoE and are AC powered. Closet based switch replacement is an efficient brownfield deployment of PON. Closet based access switches can be replaced by new 48 port ONTs. ONTs are powered, mounted, and cabled in the same way as the workgroup switches. PoE and UniPort capabilities are the same as the workgroup switch. Copper is reused, and in many cases, fiber is reused. In an enterprise environment, a zone deployment is a deep fiber solution that stops short of the desktop and instead locates ONTs in ceiling, raised floors, or NEMA rated boxes. Multiple ONTs are co-located for easy access for technical support individuals and restricted access to end users. Using small form factor ONTs between four and eight uni ports, this type of deployment provides flexibility and network growth. A zone installation works well in healthcare, education, multi-dwelling, and retail environments where the end user is untrusted. ONTs that can be used in a zone deployment are the ONT140C, 142R, 180C, the 205, and the 202. These ONTs require DC power from a power distribution source. The ONT202 is unique in that it is plenum rated and does not need to be in a plenum enclosure. The ONT205 and 202 are ideal for Wi-Fi deployments as they provide 60 watts of PoE power and 10 gig uni ports. A desktop or cubicle deployment installs the ONT within reach of the end user. The desktop cubicle deployment provides the deepest fiber installation with a minimum of copper. This deployment is typically in a trusted environment. The ONT 140C and 180C can be mounted using a bracket or can be conveniently mounted within industry standard raceway systems. Typical ONT placements are behind or above desk raceway covers under the desk using a mounting bracket, within the lower raceway above the floor, and directly on the desktop.
In-wall deployments offer a deep fiber solution for the untrusted environment. The fiber and power connectivity are safely housed inside the wall, back to the comm closet. Wall plate and Ethernet connectors are identical to legacy active Ethernet. This reduces ONT theft, damage, disconnect, and fiber tampering. It also provides a cleaner and more economical installation. The ONT 140W and 131W are used for in-wall deployments. These are both GPON ONTs that support PoE. Typically, these ONTs are remotely powered. The ONT 140 provides four uni ports, while the ONT 131 has three. To support these common architectures, the optical splitter is used. These provide a passive, highly reliable method for distribution and aggregation of the pond. Optical splitters can be located anywhere between the OLT and the ONT. When designing the physical layer of the network, it is important to note the services and bandwidth requirements of the pond zone. Low bandwidth services can use a broader split, and high bandwidth services on a smaller split. By reducing the number of available uni ports, the bandwidth on the pond can be managed efficiently. Splitters can be deployed in two ways, home run and distributed. The home run design model locates optical splitters in the main data center or the main distribution frame. Here fiber is run from each ONT all the way back to the data center and MDF. This method can lower maintenance costs with all equipment co-located in the data center. It is also easier to migrate to future technologies. However, higher initial costs and tougher initial fiber management across a facility could be a detraction. The distributed design model uses optical splitters out in the telecom closet, zone boxes, raised floor, patch panels, optical distribution hubs, and the intermediate distribution frame. This method can lower initial costs and efficiently uses the fiber across the facility or extended campus. However, higher maintenance costs with the remote equipment and tougher management of individual end-to-end -end points and users should be considered. Type B pond redundancy is also an option with optical LAN. A two by pond splitter provides both protection, redundancy, and splitting functions. This feature is supported across different pond cards in the same OLT or between different OLTs in geographically dispersed locations. This also provides a means to deliver fiber route diversity between OLT and the splitters. This concludes this video. In it, we have learned an overview of the difference between optical LAN and traditional LAN architecture, the different ONT deployment options, and the fiber optic deployment options supported by Telebs Optical LAN.